He is the greatest of all time in Brawlhalla, Sandstorm. Sandstorm. The undisputed best player to ever pick up the sticks. Complete whiff. Wonder if it was on purpose or not. Um, but Sandstorm has a scythe in hand against an unarmed Tiff. He should be able. Wow! Is that enough? Wow! What a play from Sandstorm! We're gonna go ahead and even that up quickly. You know, as I say, he got the little head nod in the camera. He's like, I'm good. Look how four lean he is. Can't even see his eyes no more. Man, it's literally inside the screen. That's what I'm talking about. You know he's playing for real. Oh, this is way different. See, you know, he saw what I say. He was just hovering around and not pressing anything. He's on it now. He's right. He pressed the gas. He's tapped in, bro. He is like legitimately tapped in. Like he, <laughs> see, he sees the frames, dude. <laughs> like, so all two forty-four of them hurts right now. Like, Let me go for that same setup a lot with the uh, the neutral light into the turnaround D light uh, after the dash. I think oh. Sandstorm's definitely caught up on that too. Lumi's having to start actually getting a little more evasive here instead of coming out with the hitbox. Tries one more time. Oh no! He has a recovery. Okay. Still. Oh, oh whoa, dip whoa, down, whoa. dip down, low. Got away from it. When we try to get back on stage and let's go. Oh, he tried it. He tried to go for the slide. Gets a neutral sig that would have taken him out. Off the backboard into the ground pound. Sandstorm. Sand Sandstorm has made a legacy from playing Scythe. Wait, why? Uh -oh. Oh, wait, oh, my God. Wait, because, what? Why? How? Wait, who? Wait, what? Style. When? Why? That what? That was <laughs> sick. Paris gameplay. Enthralling, really. I'll just run too. If you're going to play like that. Whoop, throw. XD. Okay. Player one. Yeah. Get the side egg. I got the wall. And the GC oh on our side. Oh my god. Egg. Stage spike Java down. Jesus, otherwise, you're not going to be able to get there in time. Go. Oh my god. Uh, got both yeah. of them. Happy birthday. Oh, oh nice. my goodness. Oh! In this game, he's still fresh. The neutral sig connects. It's Dominated. all left to LDZ as he gets caught between Ethan and Sandstorm. A rock and a hard place. Terrible spot to be in. LDZ gets in, but he gets caught immediately. He goes into the sandwich himself. He says, I like the taste of bread, but it's not going to taste too great. Oh god, what's that anyway? Fuck. Went for the ground pound there, and partially did that ground pound by Sandstorm. And the pivot side heavy as well, Pierre. Not gonna make it back in now, Sandstorm. Not though, Knees gonna go back in. No, sorry, oh. just a little bit too low. And that's gonna be Knees falling here, Flambo. What was Knees supposed to do? Knees, like, the mix up game was crazy. And there goes Sarme. See ya! A ground pound from Sandstorm to go ahead and close out that game. But that Scrambling to rearm, there's the gauntlets. Back on the platform. Oh, Sandstorm going in! Uh -oh, Getting tricky. Mass. mass staying on the high ground. Let's do it. Hit him with the goopy fist. It's over, Anakin. Oh, oh, oh Sandstorm. One more Go time. For it. Yes! It yes! Yes! <laughs> what? Jump high. Gravity cancel down light into the recovery. Sends Noel up. Noel is bleeding out. Yeah, Sandstorm Grandpa is going oh, to finish Sandstorm. it off. He's chasing with the Sands. He'll still be able to get back, but. Oh! That's yeah. just unnecessary! And recovery is so fun. Dash back to neutral sick as Noel tried to cover high. Almost like mentally conditioning his opponent to think, this is what's going to happen to me. This is what happened in game one. I need to avoid it. And now Sandstorm sticking oh almost entirely gosh. to the ground. Catches the dodge. Sends him up high. Such a huge damage lead. Was threatening the KO. Even Weapon toss to the Sare. Sandstorm. So far, they keep having the same story, oh. which is like, they keep it each other. Oh, that may have decided to confirm. That is so clear. Oh my There's lord. So many Hello. orb sounds. This is just a one man orb machine. You know, it's like musical notes, or, or like every hit is different, but it's like slightly making making an orchestrated piece. That neutral light bait into a down stick. Okay, I see you. Oh, okay. He's, he's showing it. Yeah. It's like he's drawing the cosmos and oh he's still gosh. showing it. I thought people said that that Sandstorm was punishable. Now everyone swapped off of faith, thinking like, oh, this character can't use Dancing against Bates. But Sensor apparently is. And he Dancing into Nutasig. Hello? 
Sandstorm, I like, thought that wasn't possible. This, huh? this thought... legitimately looks like Sandstorm just playing with his food right now. Turn Ethanator returns it around with his own recovery. Oh, but the right side, Sandstorm getting that recovery, sends Crocky off. Ethan's in position Ooh. to try to cover. Spot dodges through, but he can't get the turnaround. So many people are close, and Sandstorm again. The, moment the ground pound comes out, and now there's a 2v1 oh, no, on Doppy. the Doppy. The gravity canceled, get... Doppy! He's still got jumps. Crocky's in position, but he's just going to eat more damage. Doppy nearly got KO'd from white by that team combo. And now Ethan and Sandstorm have basically put Doppy into kill percent. These six, Sandstorm has hit so oh many God. more Doppy's next dead. Doppy's gone, and Crocky's next if he's not able to run away. He finds a nice neutral light, stops that team combo from happening. But when Crocky and Doppy are separated, it means that the other person is, one of them is going to die very shortly. I'm going to need to rewatch oh, this entire set gone. in slow motion with these plays that are happening right now. Crocky uh, and Doppy are getting off. knocked around, but like they're not a team to, yeah. to, to slouch at. But they're this is not looking bad. Good. They were, they're definitely one of the teams that could have made it out of this pool. All right, but Doppy hasn't taken too much damage yet. And Sandstorm okay. has been kind of fighting Doppy alone. Ethan has been letting him have that one, oh, no. but the ground he pound. Oh, oh, no. That's dead. Oh my god! to this because Sandstorm's signatures have just been kind of running away with this set so far on this Caspian, and I do think that's what Caspian has going for him. As I say that the down does connect, another <laughs> down signature is gonna connect. The neutral light catches the dodge, hits the Sayer, gets the free edge guard. I can do that, but uh, we're already down to one stock for uh, the, the challenging, boy. the challenging team here. Oh boy. For the chat representative, oh! that's a follow up. Okay. Nice job. Good lead by Sandstorm. Kev's still landing some heavy hits, but Sandstorm immediately opening up with the sight strings. Wow. Man, you really gotta watch out for Sandstorm's sight strings, man. Yep. Oh, great anti air by Sandstorm. Wow. That's gonna close it out. But, you know, maybe he knows something that we don't, or he just feels like it was. Oh my god. Big string and Phazon used his recovery. That stock one going to Sandstorm untouched. That nigga Sandstorm will use all his options to be like, still hit though. Oh my gosh. Hey, bro, no, that's what I said. It's for $100, man. That much damage was put out on the Sandstorm for that to ultimately be the kill option. Down signature will throw up. Doesn't have to worry about it. Uh, it has the active input, so you can throw up or you can throw down, which would have just bounced him off the platform and then gone up. So. Why not just go for the straight up throw? I feel like probably eight out of 10 times people hit that move. It's on stage somewhere, not right on a corner where they want to throw down. Like people do yeah. hit that and where they choose to throw down, like right on the corner. They also gravity cancel it sometimes, but usually that leads to a throw upwards. There's the D-Light ground pound coming out from Cake. Sandstorm with the damage. And there it is. There's the corner. Went for the weapon toss. And Ooh. Cake is done for. Did That's a have the very early kill. Sandstorm recognized it, fully backed off, did not even get around there for the opportunity for Cake to get kind of a, a nair into a chase dodge. Now, we didn't see those signatures coming out quite as early in the Ethan match right. previously as we are seeing it here against Cake. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the stock. So disappointing. All right, man. I don't know why he jumped. No yeah, flambo when we were going. Say. Yeah, we're going. I, I was gonna say before the set started, I remember we were wondering like it, it's the round robin pools. So will they be memeing at all, or will they actually be pulling it in? This is this feels like a grand final set that we're watching. They are playing extremely serious right now. How are you feeling about the way that Sandstorm's gonna answer right back, which he's already doing incredible so far? I actually think it's so funny because you and me were gonna say the exact same <laughs> thing. <laughs> and I was like, man, like this is just proceeding. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a little bit with that side signature. It's got the range on it. But Ooh, Sandstorm going for the hardcore the down air. He doesn't have enough to make it back. Noel in the lead the entire time. Takes one blunder off the side of the stage and two well placed, well spaced nairs into a down air finish using the active input of those scythe aerials. Causes Noel to lose that stock prematurely. And now Sandstorm in the lead, three stocks to two. Avoids that neutral signature and the scythe strings begin. All right, push Noel into the yellow with that. Building a little bit Still of that. Still not going to KO. Wow. Surviving from that recovery. You know Noel's going to be looking for any of the standard ki kill combos, but you cannot Down afford here. that kind of ground oh pound. Gosh, the two stock lead for Sandstorm now. Noel looks so lost when he's off stage against Sandstorm Scythe. This was looking so strong for Noel. He was winning in the neutral game, but, but Sandstorm 
when he did win his one moment in neutral, carried away into a stock, finding him off stage, and it's uh -oh. happening again. Goes all the way down for the Nair. No, well, manages to dodge high, oh, but the Nair, no. he goes for the down stick, and Noel just falls to his death. A three stock coming up from Sandstorm. Recovery, takes the stock, goes to the gauntlets. He's gonna... Tried to weapon starve, didn't quite hit the button in time, and Sandstorm gets his scythe. Okay. Throws away his gauntlets, he's gonna get away for the next weapon. But doesn't have the chance to be dead from that, I think. Wow! Sandstorm just completely obliterated his stock. Moxie rocking those home team colors for Bodvar. Ooh, switching up to the gauntlets. Uh oh, it's the gonna be accuracy. tough to come back from this oh, one. Yeah. Nice! Sandstorm! The map there, looking for the side sig. But, uh, yeah, zoning him out extremely well. As you see, those Nairs coming out here just so far above him. Looking for the Russian Mafia. The What is going on, man? What is going on? The weapon throw up, the turnaround down, Sig. Getting the jump that he's looking for, but Java seeing through it, going a little oh, bit Oh, he pulled out of it. That gave him some time, but he still got caught. No shot. He makes it back. Sandstorm. Is I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to read this, dude. Like, honestly. I have no clue how to read this dude. And just jumping off. If it's somewhat close. Wow, Sandstorm just getting one string and then pulling it as far as possible. But Boomy has been doing the same on the other end. Oh, tries to go for a reverse. Recovery. Sandstorm this hits could him. Be bad. He's okay. able to get back. You didn't see the immediate ground pound or anything like that from Sandstorm. It's and he's evened it up. What? Why did that he send like that? Two of Sandstorms and then two of Boomies. Good luck, little cap. Let's see what he's got. Oh man, Sandstorm getting a couple stray hits here. Leading in, he was looking for the dodge, but little cap wow. didn't bite. Oh man, Sandstorm, he he got that going. And <laughs> this is crazy. Sandstorm's playing so so well. We, we've just we've never seen this. this is so like whoa, threatening that corner. He's the neutral light. the corner. He he knows how to cover. What? Yup. Oh. Even with that neutral line, the instant down that uh, Sarah recovered down there, I think it was. It's, that's one of the things about Sword, and it's if they don't jump once they oh. get hit by that. Whoa! Dude. I don't know what you were that saying. I was busy watching Sandstorm just punch Ethan all over the screen. I fully agree with you on that one. Sandstorm finally getting the gun on the string that we know him for. I've been missing that the entire match. Okay, off stage. So I let down Into the recovery. recovery. Ooh, is that he's metagaming? That's broken as fuck. That's broken as shit. Fix your game, BMG. Oh! Oh my god, leave him alone! Oh my god! Really, really wanting this side right now. I can tell. Right for the edge guard, finds the oh. combo, and throw down. Doesn't, ma doesn't manage to punish the return much to save, but has the scythe in hand now. Looking very comfortable, the side edge is snaking away that Later. stop. Oh god. Oh lord. Ah, yeah, yeet. Oh, mm. oh, He is just pushed He's over out. and over to that side the second he recovers. Alfred's just going in, bro. Great. Patience coming out from Lampy's gameplay. Uh, not a lot of hard hits coming through oh. from the first two stocks, but the spacing control and just kind of waiting out Sandstorm to find the right time to entry. I mean, the damage now already even, maybe slightly still in Sandstorm's favor, but like it's minimal. That could be a KO right there. The Sidra has a recovery, but the weapon throw. No, he got the wall. That's the grab pound. Vols does have the lance in hand, has been a weapon of choice for building this damage and fighting these comebacks. That's all weapon throw down. Catch out the recovery in the end lane to the side edge. And Santi. <laughs> Pull off, can you imagine? Santi. Just the craziest comeback. Uh -oh. oh no, caught the tail end of the dodge. He can still make it back. Oh, but oh, he no. got him. He didn't touch the floor. There's no way Just he can come back. Just out. This. Santi. Santi is done. Sandstorm took him all the way out, caught his jumps, caught his landing, caught the win for his team. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my. Goodness. Oh my. Uh, 
and third approach. That's awesome. Thanks. He does hit the recovery, not quite enough to kill, even with that recovery buff that just happened a little while ago. Nice, excuse me, nice play from Sandstorm. And that's going to be Phase on stock. Wow. I didn't think we'd be able to make it back, man. Oh, and he's going to eat him off the stage and say, hold on, you want to see how to actually do it? Oh, he got the D-Light right there, too. He, it was a little bit late, right? It hit on the latter end of the hitbox, because if he knew that it had connected, he would have gone for the guaranteed Nair on the combo. I, I remember there was a time where like he just destroyed Noel and and uh, I think it was in summers where he completely destroys Noel or maybe it was autumns uh, and at the end of it what ended up happening is that uh, he chokes at three stock lead Noel comes back yeah and it was and it was a choke because there was like three different KO opportunities guaranteed edge guards that complete guarantee just press one button and you will get it where he just didn't do it. Uh, yep, that's that's the phase on in the past that always broke my heart because 99% of his sets I love to watch but then like that last moment was exactly he, he like he was notorious for choking man but this year I mean he's really stepping oh, up this year placed well at BCX played really well with his Jiro at winter championships played really well at final round as well he's back on this Val now um we saw a lot of his Jiro okay Luna not giving a fuck coming in with the, oh my gosh bro please get away from him but he take your buns, my nigga. He took your buns! You just gave it away! Oh. Luna! Luna! Oh my fucking... <laughs> Yo, the predictions say, again? <laughs> <laughs> I think Sandstorm's got him dialed in though, honestly. Oh my god. Lead going Sandstorm's way right now. Good recovery from Stevenator. Strong conversions. All right, man, just to dodge for him. He's gonna come around and almost get thwarted. No, maybe so. Sandstorm has him off stage once again. Whoa! Oh, that chase dodge was, was, was 200 IQ. Thanks. Pretty equal damage going into this game. Half a minute taken on the clock, and neither player really entering that red state of damage. Sansom now on the scythe, definitely weapon of choice. No dodge from Volse. Two stocks in 30 seconds. Now it is five stocks versus Sandstorm, but Sandstorm is the world champ, and he's going to get one to start it off. We're going to be coming in on this final stock. They're even in damage, both of them with zero damage on this stock. This could be a little bit precarious. You saw the sweat beads coming Bro. out. Bro. Was lacking in a lot of in-air movement options, and Sandstorm is just adding up this damage. Has not been touched yet, and already put out 100 plus damage on a Remy. Yeah, Re Re Remy has barely touched Sandstorm. This is looking real rough. Sandstorm was ready for this one. He's like, I can do this, and he's gonna hit the end. Uh. Yeah, we haven't seen very many quick punish opportunities when Boomy yep. has blown basically all Side of his jumps header. in the air. Edge guard opportunity. And we, we don't see it. He's respecting the position that he's in right now against a player like Boomy. Side that side here. He just has to pick up like one more of those. Throws out the down no. signature, back down dash, sig, down, sig, down signature, line, down forward sig. dash, down signature, All down signature. That's, gonna, kill. <gasps> that's he's gonna be he's it. Gonna he's gonna be looking for those big reads onto a Sidru because he does not have a lot of health to work with as he gets the Nairs and Sairs already putting a Sidru into the orange. Sidru going for the read of his own. Gravity canceled down signature out of that side light. I like that he was able to tag Sandstorm with at least a little bit of damage. Oh, there's some signatures coming out. Sandstorm going into the orange. How quickly the damage has tied up. Sandstorm is looking for these setups. Wants this recovery to get a Sidru off the stage. There's a Sidru. 
on that wall. Has to be careful how he comes up. Goes Whoa. for that turnaround Sig. But it's going to be Sandstorm with that reversal. That Nair has that active input. Oh, man. And Sandstorm already going for signatures of his own. Looking to go positive. Oh! <gasps> and he does! Um, he knows he needs something big right now. He needs to take a risk or something to get back into this. Oh, uh, down to his final stock, though. Tournament stock for Steve. Sandstorm has a lot of wiggle room. Steve... Are you gonna blow a 2-0? Are you gonna be the hero everyone wants? It doesn't look like that will be the case as Sandstorm continues to berate Steve with these strings. Yeah, he's not making it. He's making it look easy, to be honest. Like, we're talking about one of the best players in the world in Sandstorm. This is the first time he's ever been top eight and he is making it look easy against Steve. Steve is one hit away and Doom. that's the hit. He's fighting Sandstorm. Oh gosh. I know, bro. I know you wanted to, I know you wanted to go under the stage. Sandstorm's up. Time to waste. Oh beautiful oh, from Sandstorm. He really can't get hit by anything oh, and he gets God. hit by oh, everything! Sandstorm no! He had no dot. Ethan used the gravity cancel yeah. there. Sandstorm dreams of somebody using a gravity cancel. He in starts the wrong salivating spot. for sure. He, honestly, he knows. He has so many excellent combos locked and loaded. If you burn your dodge on nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and Ethan, especially with the spear, the the gravity cancel side signature is one of his like premier oh, killing. Oh, oh my goes... gosh! What a good punish! Holy cow! Ethan on his final breath. He has to win this for Team South right now, but it's gonna require a stock of a lifetime here. He is maybe one good hit away from death. And there's oh, the one good hit. He's straight thugging. Now he has a sword. Oh, he tries to dodge. He tried. Not good enough. Okay. Neutral. Sandstorm gets the better end of it. Gets the down air once again. Tries to connect into his eyelid. Doesn't matter. Still manages to follow up even though it doesn't quite connect. And now Steve falling a little bit behind here. This site is proving to be a problem for Steve to deal with. And another side sig coming from this one. And this is the this is the worry about well not worry, this is the good and the bad thing about uh best of five. Sandstorm has now adapted to Stevenator and has been able to figure out Steve's movement and stuff, gets that neutral sig, and game three is going to Sandstorm. Oh, potential opportunity to get one off the top. Does not find it. Here's a. Uh, can they get Sandstorm here? No, Sandstorm sneaked his way out. He's so ridiculous. I guess I can stock with an N Sig, so hey, what do I know? Neither of them are really worried about their stage recovery. They're really just worried about platforms and oh, last no. As this combo is just gonna overlap and overtake what little you had left in the game. Sandstorm, very real chance to go 2-1 right here, right now. Java's putting a Sandstorm in a lot of danger right Ooh. now, but having an entire stock up and also reversing the ledge guard, Ooh. I'm not worried. The soul point's coming in right here, the Nair to catch, but Java didn't touch the weapon throw, Ooh. he actually goes down! Oh my god. Down there, Sandstorm, uh, just to make it back, but it's all but over for Java here. He needs to play a perfect game, get a perfect stock, because remember, Sandstorm still has this stock lead here, Java. Oh, and side light into the side oh and Sandstorm responds. What is that? Like, what the hell is that, bro? Yo, Contrast has a good glow box, too. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Hazen, come on. No. Yeah, you yeah. can't avoid all of those recoveries. All, all of the recoveries. Ah! Well, oh, man. He was, he went, he bet it all. He was just going for it. <laughs> it was the, if he gets a hit, he gets to chase dodge, or he's stuck there gravity canceling, and maybe Bracket's going to come over. But since he doesn't have the benefit of being able to communicate with his teammate, is he... Bro, Luna, stop! That's how she too soon. Back out of these options, so that he can start going for those bigger and bigger reads as he makes the swap over to the cannon. 
to try to punish this Lance of Coslix. Damage so far fairly even. Remember, this is a best of three, so it's going to be quick. It's going to be hard to afford a game loss. Neutral air, not enough to do it. So I'm looking for that side air. Looking for the kill option. Down oh. light. Almost. Another oh. hit or two and that'll do it, but the side air is the one to close it out. Cover does not get gimped right there. Yep. That could have oh, been a really a bad spot for Wrench. That could have been a kill in Orange, which oh, would have basically that. deleted all of the lead that he had. Sandstorm doing a great job catching up very quickly. He placed that down signature perfectly on the weapon spawn. Wrench saw it coming. You saw him move forward oh, and then say, nope, I'm not going to go for it. Backing up. Both players dead even right now. Both in kill percent on their first stock. Oh, that Ooh. neutral air to recover. I think that second down light was. Okay. Because he had the stomp and then he went for the throw. If he had gone aerial for like a dare, I could see something there. Down sync connects. Stomp side air and sandstorms. Oh. Okay, wow. Goes right over his head with that ground pound. Not able to hit sandstorm. Sandstorm already in the light orange. Nice pickup. Beautiful. Nice not quite. He's going to need more of that, though. Um, Sandstorm is playing a lot safer now, though. You notice that in the first few games, Stingray generally trying to play for those punishes and Sandstorm getting some big strings. Big three piece for Sandstorm. His timing with Scythe is just so good that if Stingray wants to slow it down and choose his initiations very carefully, like Stingray, so or uh, Sandstorm so oh. far has had no trouble dealing with that, which made Sandstorm dodge into him. The sound light forced Sandstorm uh, to dodge into him, and he already set up for a scenario. He was way, way earlier on that than you think. Hostile, bro, you missing history? Oh, oh my! Set his name on the board in this set. <laughs> Start the possible reverse three and light into the. Oh! Oh! Alright, Sandstorm with the oh, action. With what? Spike. That was so good. He stopped his no, recovery. No, He's no. dead. Sandstorm, zero to death in like two seconds. Okay. Volt getting some solid off stage versus Sandstorm, but at any moment, Sandstorm kind of just turns these situations around. Yeah, that dodge is gone. Kind of like that. That dodge is gone. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really risky gravity cancel and Sandstorm recognized him. He was like, all right, I'm just going to take this guy out. Oh! oh. To kill Boomy. So fast. And look at that. Almost gets a juicy conversion off of this. And he's still putting on the pressure. Oh, Snipe. Was going to go for the down air, but wasn't able to pick up the scythe because of that retaliation from Boomy. Tail end of that down. So going to hit Sandstorm now. But Sandstorm, with gauntlets in hand, looking for the finisher. He's trying his hard. I, I would, if I were Sandstorm, try and find the the win on your second stock. That D Sig smashing him into the platform at the bottom there, and that that side Sig. Too. Nice chase from Sandstorm. Oh, you saw the stars come out. Stingray running out of options, and Sandstorm knows it. This connection is making me not happy. So maybe he can get the stock off of uh, Sandstorm here. Both of them are in orange. Uh, oh. oh, Boomy came Can't by. Avoid both. Yeah. Uh, now he's sitting here with uh, in red. Oh, I can't even word. What the heck? Maybe he can catch oh, up. Oh, oh that's oh, so bad. Oh, no. Oh. Yep, shout out to Boomy, supporting, supporting the people that feed him. <laughs> supporting the arts. He's a patron of the arts. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's the signature wow. that kill. He was an orange. It's the destructive force of the Zul. Oh, goes for the gravity cancel. Neutral signature reaching real high in the sky on that one. Down here. Ooh, just, just beating pound. out the ground pound. <laughs> Remy was just trying to charge in. But Sandstorm Again. ready. Just playing the footsies there. Remy really trying to get that axe side signature. Sandstorm Ooh. from underneath with the neutral there. Okay. Tries to go for the Nair. Managed to get it into the Sair. Tries to scoop him up with that down light as well. But it will not be enough. Wow. 
Oh, what a there. play! You're out of there. Depending on how long his games are, the fact that he's playing best of threes against people, and especially if they're not all two O's, like he could be gaining a decent amount of experience from just his tournament sets. But yeah, I, I absolutely agree that there is a possibility that after the tournament yesterday, he was scrimming with people and gaining that experience very quickly. So he could have gained two levels just yesterday alone. One thing about Sandstorm, though, regardless of fate, is that he has his incredible scythe gameplay. And as we saw, he got the long, long spring onto wrench. Oh, that dousing is into side coverage. One of the better um, ledge traps, as I like to call it. Sansom just fishing for these signatures, trying to get one of them to work. Oh. Yeah, wait until wait. I like I'm not doing grand final. That's my jam. Grand final. That's my jam. Anyway. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. Game five between Simple and Sandstorm. Absolutely going uh, the distance this time around. Sandstorm, though. Another hot start. And like I just said, you know, in the fourth game, Sandstorm did get a hot start, right? And normally, if he gets a hot start, you're kind of like, all right, Sandstorm got a hot start. Like, this is probably going to be it. Um, I learned something new, Sparky. I guess it does. <laughs> that's actually great. Yeah, oh, wait that's a minute. great for Sandstorm. He has the lead now. He's midway through his second stock. Boomy's on his final stock. Tries to go for the wave. You're sick. Oh, yes. Oh, gets He's stuffed dead. out oh, with the down Sansom there. Him. He was dead. That recovery actually saved Boomy. I love how the moment I saw Boomy uh, moving the pattern that he did, the neutral stick was aimed at- What is, oh, is Boomy doing? What uh, was that down signature? That had to be a misinput. It's kind of weird. Oh, he said. Did huge lead in his favor. Oh, it oh, even oh, forced oh. Sandstorm to even things up. He had to go for that three-piece Russian Mafia there. Rather than just going for a Stomp Sarah that wouldn't KO, he'd have to fish for another Stomp Sarah that might not even KO, depending on Woo. the positioning. And look at how Sandstorm opened up uh -oh. that next stock. That's a punish, ladies and gentlemen, and that turned Luna orange. Sandstorm went from behind to in the lead immediately. The weapon oh. toss helps a little bit with oh, the recovery. Guard. Luna's in trouble, oh, the weapon this toss. He got the touch. He's still alive. These weapon tosses from Sandstorm have been deadly on Luna. He gets the touch again, just holding on for dear life. Sandstorm had so much control that entire time, and then he was blessed with a weapon spawn that was right there on the corner next to him. Just outside the end, Sig. Stomp, side air, Sandstorm takes the lead. Actually clean this up. Oh, okay. Oh! With the wall bounce, Java's still surviving. I was about to say, doing it again onto Java. Java, though, is definitely nervous. Deep red against Sandstorm with two stocks. Disarmed himself on the weapon. Oh, okay, that and was Sandstorm. slick. On that hammer, he was loving the vertical game. You saw the down air into the recovery. Then he was fishing for more down airs. So really playing that vertical. That's the dunk. We saw a little tease of it before. The drop the recovery. Man, these D lights. He wants he them, wants but he it. just can't get them. Sandstorm not giving him the D lights. Oh, oh my goodness. What Boomy was doing, and then he just started waiting out and actually punishing the, those moves. So Boomy has now been a little more evasive as far as what he's doing out of disadvantage. Nice. And it seems like it's catching up right there. Wow. Sandstorm with the right option. And I, oh, Good yeah. String. I don't know. And off that down light could be punished. Oh. Then I to say again, Vols is still just about living. Be a wizard! We will do it and oh. Well, had he just yep. done the recovery, like yep. like any like any of us would have done, it would not have knocked yeah, like out. All your grandmas would have done. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy. My grandma would have done that. <laughs> she loves Bra Hollow. Okay, but Machete gets uh -oh. Sandstorm down the to the oh. chase. Oh. Dodged around. Never mind. He just <laughs> dipped around that weapon toss, just, saw yeah. it coming, caught the angle, and he's like, no, nah, you're not getting away from these hands. Absolutely, and now with these gauntlets especially, that is the weapon on Nordex that can secure those knockouts the most consistently. Sandstorm, apparently throwing those away and getting onto the side here. That side air can definitely secure a knockout, and the side light side air will certainly do so. Sandstorm, trying to get some damage built up. He's looking better. Nice yo, double yo, stop, yo. triple stomp. Getting damage after damage, getting as much as he can get. After last game, Sandstorm making oh. sure that you know he's not swagless after he got style on. Oh, two close whiffs from both players there. Sandstorm just eating that axe to the face. Stomp side air. 
Really looking to put this one away. Oh, 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 oh. The coverage on that was so good. Side. It's potential upset time, chat. It is in a great position. However, Yo, vertical Sansa game. getting a really good jungle game going here. Catching the stair, pushing him deep off stage, looking potentially for the side sig. Just waiting for him to overcommit. No dashing up, trying to catch the stomp stair. Hardy at the damage deficit. Gauntlet's in hand for Sandstorm. Yo, that might do it, and it does! Oh, I could have raised that, didn't I? Oh, that was a crazy ammo. Just maintaining that read pressure. Sandstorm having that with his own downlights. Yeah, Sandstorm's downlights reach a little bit further, though. Yeah. Sidelight weapon toss oh, pick what? up side sig? What? Didn't kill, but however, it sent him to oblivion. I've been starving Sandstorm. Oh! oh, dodging just away from the hammer side air. Sandstorm still surviving and dealing tons of damage to boot. Remy with the oh. stomp into nothing and Sandstorm not going to panic out of it. Second side air. Sandstorm waving goodbye to Remy's second stock. No dodging at all. Whoa, I like it ate an input. Earlier, maybe it'll take one less D light recovery to get the KO off the top. Yeah, I mean it was it was down to the wire there. Uh, that that little bit of strength might have been exactly what he needed to close out game number two and go home with the victory. Uh, able to avoid any threat of that dunk down, but Sandstorm is getting the better of Stingray, winning out more often in the neutral. Neutral sick connects, and Sandstorm looking huge. Dashing on stage, oh, down light, double air. down light into the side air. Getting as much mileage as he can off of these hits. Wow! Salah's down light goes for down light. Loop reads does not follow up off it well enough though, but he does get the hit. Down light into the recovery. Two pieces. Over to the yeah, gauntlets for the knockout potential. Ooh, reads a dodge down for the down sig, but it's the side sig, not enough to kill. Pushes him far enough. Ooh. Oh my! Here he has the scythe. So he does have the edge guard opportunities. There's the side light. He's going to throw away that scythe. He's going to stick with this. You saw him trying to initiate with the down light. Goes on for the edge guard. He is chasing Simba right now. Multiple weapon Ooh. tosses. Weapon to weapon to weapon. Throwing that one all the way to the right. He's going to go unarmed against Simba. The neutral air, not a kill move. Throwing but he's getting away pretty scythe. close. And he wants to keep Simba weapon starved. Rather than trying to tunnel vision and chase that kill right then, he saw the weapon spawn on the field. He wanted Simba unarmed. Wait a minute. Cody's on Diana. I was like, oh man, that, that's wild to see, but the bow absolutely going crazy. And Sandstorm hitting them Brawl Hollow Thunder Steps, you already know what time it is. A tactical crouching, if you will. Just kind of let you just, just, go ahead, press press, 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 don't pay attention to me over here. But uh, now with Gauntlets and Blasters on deck, they're pretty much everything, yeah. Okay. Okay, that was so good by him. I, I, Sandstorm is the only I've only ever seen Sandstorm competitively on Mordex, and he plays both weapons and Fate, and Fate. Like no, we, a little bit of Fate because the scythe, right? But there's yeah. no accent. The neutral sig connects. He catches him with the bear trap, throws it in the air, and sends him flying. Oh my god! Back to back side Please. lights. Tried to go for the neutral light, catching phase on like recovering low. Ooh, that's gonna oh be a punish my. as soon as one hit connects. Sandstorm could potentially three stock oh. Lil Capped here. Remember, he started strong. this match with two stocks. It's, it looks like Lil Cap took a stock, but he he actually did not. He's, Sans was working on a three stock here. Looking as strong as Zola here. Oh my he god, he charged, he charged it up just long enough. Sandstorm. Why is this so close? Oh my god. It's the ultimate move. The Sandstorm adapting relatively well, finds a GC sidelight, but Java has the option to make it back. Can Sandstorm equalize? 
Who? Java, just on the edge of death, repeatedly <gasps> weapon throws a clash, but something's gonna immediately make it back. How does he keep making it back? Side air, that will almost certainly oh, do it. Oh, not after that. No. I thought it was just gonna and happen. So I thought he was just gonna be dead. The fact that he was able to dodge oh out goodness. was great, but the look side at these, zig. Look at these, Steve's these gone. confirms from, from each of these guys right Yikes. now. Look, like, Sandstorm missed the confirm, and Boomy <laughs> followed up with another combo starter, and they just were, like, continuing like nothing happened. Yeah, they just keep it going. All right. <laughs> Up in the sky. Oh, my Decent goodness. damage. Pass over oh, to Oh, they going to just pass it back and <laughs> <Yeah>. forth? <laughs> oh, no. This is just passing practice. I believe in Witty. He can get another stock. Oh. He can get another stock. Come on, Witty. I believe. See, I want to see if they can do it. I want to see if they can black hole with the alternate nares. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I think it's something that I just don't ever see. I think they're trying to. <laughs> I think they're trying to alternate between neutral air and down air. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, so that oh! <laughs> Luna, man, your teeth. Pick your teeth up, man. recovery that only hits at a very precise range. With Zol, because of his insane strength, you are going to get that window for such a small period yep. of time. You, you will end up hitting your opponent further than that because of the greater force, and you're just building up damage more quickly. Jeez, though, those double nares, Look at him triple him. nares, wrench is getting just flown into the sky. I actually love that down signature. The longer you charge it, the more blasts up to three yes. that you get. A really good job from Luna. He's been consistent about it. Wow, the double D-light into the ground pound. Luna actually DIs off of that and ends up going a little bit more horizontal off the kick. But man, all this damage getting added up. Sandstorm afraid to really make a huge commitment to the offstage of Luna, even though Sandstorm, Whoa. oh, that's going to bump him. It's Oh my, oh my, Scythe, man. But gets beaten out of the air by Boom before he's able to pick it up. Now he does have Scythe. Wow. Woo! Wow, big play. Yep, that hits. I read that so hard. You know my Steam names and just how they are. I like to cycle them. This one is like an, an amazing console name. I hope you guys agree. Yeah, my favorite thing about Terrace is just how perfect the stats are. Like, you can't, you can't get any worse or any better. Sandstorm feeling more confident. You're seeing that coming into play here. The greatsword is in hand. It's going to take so much. These nares, all of these hammer moves are chunking Hardy closer and closer into the red. Hardy finds two. Ooh. Oh, Sandstorm didn't get the stomp there. Turns around, hits the stomp. Sare Hardy is looking like he's going to fall here. He's doing everything he can, but it's not enough. Okay. He almost died. Oh! He's like stuttering. It makes me think he's like a West player. Oh, that ground pound was sexy. That's a siphon hand now, both players. Looking for a way in, and this neutral, you like to punish nothing out of it. And so I'm afraid to get in too deep with this site because Java has 
a lot of wake up capability here. Now into the red, but Sandstorm in the deep orange already. He can't afford to take too much damage. Sidelight into the side air, securing that knockout. And opening up the gauntlet, ditto. Sandstorm trying to find those neutral airs, and Simba was looking for the side lights. Sandstorm winning it out. Oh, oh the recovery oh, to the air. man. Sandstorm runs away with a lead really fast. Recovery connects. Ooh, dodges back, but Simba now returning nice. with own string. Weapon Toss goes down to cover Sandstorm, potentially switching over to the scythe. Lots of downsticks being thrown. Oh, three in a row. It's, okay. <laughs> it's, it's one of those moves where it's just Sandstorm so good with the move. What the like read? Ooh. We've seen him do that time and time again. But and what an early stock for Sandstorm. Never you have to win this, man. <laughs> there, there's nothing worse than bringing it back this much and not being able to take it home. Oh, <gasps> the weapon toss! No! He hasn't recovered. He hasn't recovered. He's got the option. He's okay. Wait. Wall touch, he's scared, he wants to get back, he runs off stage with the Haymaker, Ooh. goes off stage with a ground fight of his own, over committing from both of these players, no one getting extremely punished for it. Phase on gets hit oh by the no! What? Stock with this air out the corner, and it might be a tough little moment here for Sandstorm to bring himself back in this game. I was yeah. about to say I really like Boomy's spacing game. Up until that point he got hit, but he's been able to space out a lot. He's avoiding a lot of the lights, but he just get caught by the GC satellite getting pushed deep all stage, going down there, trying to catch him, maybe with a side air, going back on with the recovery, realizing it was not worth it at that moment. Oh man, I definitely thought he, he, he caught him like right at the wall, you know, he had the sweat beads on and everything, so I thought he was going to be able to finish that a little earlier, but does indeed finish it regardless with that neutral signal. Oh man. Beautiful oh, conversion. Oh, 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 so my fast, gosh. dude. He oh, like instant transmission. Gosh. Oh, that's it's not punishable. Funny sig. I did. I, I don't know why I didn't dodge. I knew it was coming. You can get yourself into uh, some pretty precarious yeah, places. Scary. So that might just be like, oh, he's he's not going to spot dodge me because you're not supposed to do that against Scythe. See there, you see him jumping before he starts to use his dodge because he wants to see how oh, Sandstorm is going to initiate. Tough. And just like that, this is so much more even. Uh, Fortress Alliance is a much better pick for Sandstorm. Less platforms. The ceiling is still still a smuggle room with the ceiling, but also neither of them really want to go to a stage where um, is what well, we've been in Miami Dome, we've been in Spirit Realm, and now we're at uh, Fortress Alliance. No one wants to go to a map where you can cross under the stage. For some people, that's pretty important. But Sandstorm. I get it. The only way you get that off stage is if they're actually up. So when you hit them with the side light, ooh, that weapon doesn't do sick down there. Grab out. Does oh, not hit. Just he below it. it. Maybe. Yeah, he was real close with that down signature now. Starting yep, to put out using some the signatures to his favor. Down light. Just denying weapon so side signature. Second swing connects onto Wilson. So many signatures Wilson's, off of Sandstorm. He's still getting back onto the stage though. I'm dead. No! <laughs> and Boomy's just kind of toying, like, he's just toying with Sandstorm. He's not aggressing very hard. He's just kind of going for one hit at a time. Maybe in an effort to, to break Sandstorm's mentality. Yeah, maybe. Going into the next him. couple of games, yeah. Maybe he thinks it's just funny. Wow, Sandstorm says shut up! Their, uh, their tournament history is not the most prolific. They are doing things very, very similar to one another. They're almost two sides of the same coin, which is cool because they both came up together. Yeah. You can see each other's influences in the other one. It's the, it's the Mordex Civil War here yeah. right now. He choked. Capitalize. I'm better. Dude, you are bad. Why are you playing like this? Oh, and now it's deep red for both players, man. Yeah, Boomy just missing on that side or off on the left side, left side of stage two. And look at Sandstorm nice, catching dude. it again.
lot of times people will get stuck there. You start mashing jump, you use your dodge early, and then goodbye. Free KO off the side. But RDFJ's done an incredible job fading out. Does he get caught, Yo, though? Yo, that's huge. Weapon Toss is going to clean that one up. <laughs> for the nail, but he's like, oh, he's fast and I can't press the button right here. How am I going to hit him? Weapon throw has been so good for. Are you? Hey, oh my god! Oh, oh. Yo, you're going to go for him. That oh. was like seven misses in a row on the side of Boomy, and, and Sandstorm has now taken advantage of it. He's looking for the nail, trying to catch him to go high. Sandstorm oh. catches him again, and he gets the punish, but it's not going to be enough off the top. Okay. Oh, okay. Everybody throwing weapons right Ooh. there, but it's going to yeah, be enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He knows the stylish follow-up, so he knows the best escapes. Yeah, that that, sh that should track, but Ooh. I feel like... Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Sandstorm. Right, never mind. Oh. Zoom. Jesus, I carried you so quick. I know. Oh yeah, he, he's pissed off that I didn't like that off stage. Now he has to give me back. Pressure to do something because they're like, oh, I, I got this. I don't need to practice. And but the pressure gets to you when you overthink the simple things. That's open that paradox right there. Absolutely. But right now, that doesn't really matter because Sandstorm, he doesn't Whoa. care about any kind of paradox. He finds the end sig. Has Java in trouble off the side. Weapon throw down. Java manages to touch. Oh, oh, oh. The dare and the GCD light isn't going to connect, but Sandstorm has Java a bit on the ropes here. One side air might be enough for Sandstorm, but he can't quite hit it just yet. GCD at recovery will not KO the side light into the end sig. Classic Mordex bread and butter. That era where like he started like becoming better and just straight up beat yeah. me every tournament, etc. What started happening is yes, I would get second place all the time, but I actually felt like I never could actually beat him, so I picked these weird legends. And it I was sandbagging. It was it was like a oh I didn't even pick my main like I'm gonna lose to you but I was just trying new options uh, to try and beat you out and it's like that slight not confident type of gameplay and oh jet bean oh come come on bro that's not that's not cool. Amount of control right, so on that's, stage that's air and to off air. stage, You're not on the ground hitting. The oh, ball. okay, okay. Surface to air. Yeah. Nice neutral light. That get off me option because he was stacked. Well, Ooh. Ethan's starting to bleed Ooh. out. Yeah, I went for the side Just air. Just like that. Is that going to be it? He's going to have oh, the he recovery has plenty of and the side air. Yeah. Sandstorm not going for the punish there. The side air was kind of the obvious option, but he doesn't need it. The down signature for the up throw. Like trying to catch a dodge through from Java. There you see him mm. going for the forward read and it connects down into the orange. Sandstorm coming in, gets uh -oh. the two piece, gets that recovery. Pierre now uh -oh. in the red. They're starting to bleed a little bit. Uh oh. Sandstorm's getting into that skin of his. Going in, having that platform control. Oh no. And it's turning more into Sandstorm's oh, favor. Pierre needs to get a sorry. knockout. He's getting a signature knockout realistically. Oh, now Pierre's signature, oh, signature no! land, but Sandstorm says otherwise. I, this is awesome. Sandstorm As a top, qualifier for top eight, oh, nonetheless. Man. Like, this isn't a pools match in a round robin tournament. Like, Which like, the winner away of by this the stair. moves on into top eight. The winner of this set moves Grab on to top eight. Oh my god! All right, and now we, we've seen before in previous matches, Boomy and Sandstorm, they've worked, they've practiced combos. So they're just waiting to get one of their standard openings. Here we, Here we go. go. What is this damage? Are you out of here? <laughs> Koslix still barely surviving. Can he find his no. way back? No! Denied! <laughs> just the setup and the finish. The blue team. Disappear right there. And Cody sights for life. Excuse me. Sandstorm sights for life once again. Coming in. They're able to strike two. One thing that was good for the, uh, the red team at least is they were able to get them oh, off the red. Yeah, Crocky. I didn't see that. Crocky's about to lose his second stock. Like this is still very big oh, for the red team. Oh no! Jumping Crocky recovery. on the right side. Sandstorm looking for it, but he doesn't get. Oh my goodness! The damage on top of Dobby, and he got a kill on Crocky for it.
Oh, come on, Jet Bean. Really? Wrench so far actually looking so, so much better in this game. Getting that new slide in. And he cheese dodged there. down off the dunk. Uh-oh. Oh. Clash out. Ground down. Wrench is gone. Yo. This, the wall bounce. That was the recovery. nice. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bro. He's running out of movement. Brother. He hasn't touched a wall. Oh, he's and done. he's going to fall. Sandstorm. Hopefully the Koji pick. Make it seem like for his usual self. A Sandstorm getting these amazing conversions though i really have to give him the credit that he's been able to do look at that throw him down to the depths don't come back almost gets him with that down air from the unarmed <laughs> infinity gauntlet sandstorm just, just doesn't care he's just going through all these big conversions big hits and is not worried about being punished because he's hitting them and that's the first stock going to sandstorm game goes vastly the other direction than it's going um probably over to that jiro pick but speaking of not being able to gimp, like Sandstorm, I think said in, in an interview that like Bazon's the only person he can't gimp. Yeah, but even more reason to have Scythe, honestly. Yep. But look also, at this. gives it's him a lot of fun. control on forcing Sandstorm into the offstage situation with yeah. the active input. But yeah, we're gonna see character swap. That was an easy. Uh, that that's what that hammer was. That hammer was a wizard. Right. Stomp side air, what a punish there. Beautiful extension of it. Ooh. Sandstorm poised to take game one as he has not only the stock, but also the damage advantage. Hammer v hammer, it seems like Luna's hammer just cannot punish? contest with what? Sandstorm. No shot, are you picking up a neutral oh. signature after that? Sandstorm showing the swag. Better, he's not like Pierre, he's like, is that a, dude, there's a big ass bug on my wall right now. I can't focus anymore, there's a big ass bug on my wall, I'm done, I'm really done. It's, it's finished. Wait, where's it at? I, I, Most stable it has been this set. But Noel will have to win three in a row in order to take the set. And he is down, down so far. That's going to be it. it. Noel going down to his final stock on the winner's bracket. Mordex Gauntlet's down stick is so powerful because we've seen him once hit it and throw them straight up for the KO. And now we saw him throwing them off stage. It sends him so far even in light orange. And then with the drop down side air, not even going for a ground pound, just knowing that the side air's knockback was enough to be able to finish off Noel, give Sandstorm that stock lead that he needs. Noel at the risk of dropping out to loser's bracket. 3-0 here against Sandstorm. Is that down light into oh, Dare? No. Nair looks for the second and the stair gets him off stage. Two stairs in a row. Oh, he goes the to the down stick. So much damage. Sandstorm going deep. And Noel. the ground pound finisher doesn't connect, but it doesn't matter. He just wanted it all. Oslik like, Sandstorm. And, you know, just to go back to the end of that last match, you know, you, you were questioning a little bit about why Sandstorm was choosing the options he was. I think at, at that point, knowing that this could be the last stock in this bracket, you're going to play a little safe. Right? He wasn't trying to overextend himself, especially <laughs> against Koselik's lands. Well, right now, we're definitely getting the, the tournament mental is starting to kick in, right? We, we talk about it so much, you know, who's got that, that extra ice in their veins yeah. to clutch up and show up and show out in a, in a, in a best of five, game number five. I mean, it doesn't get more intense than this right now. Sandstorm, though, in a dominant standpoint thus far, oh, another big wow. stop there. And Sandstorm is about to have their first lead that we've seen throughout the entire set initially on the first stock. Oh, but Kozilex is coming back. There's a little answer to him. Building up the damage, it's not enough right now, but that's how he gets it. Oh, oh nice, Sandstorm. Manage using those quick startup frames to true combo. Very nice three-piece on the Greatsword. I'm not sure if Downer into Nair is still true on the Greatsword. I know it used to be, but catching that dodge, almost killing with that side light finisher weapon throw into the GC side sig. And he's been able to bring this lead back. Now he switches back to the guns. Um... What worries me about this is if you whiff on the guns, this is what happens. Yeah. And he has no recovery. And stock one is going to Sandstorm. Sandstorm able to close up that first stock quite nicely, put a bow on it, sent it out. Now stamped it, gave it to UPS, whatever. He is feeling good. As Phazon now needs to find a way to get this first stock off Sandstorm. But Sandstorm is doing an amazing job of, oh my goodness. Yeah, big string. Um... Faison needs to get the stock real quick. That's not going to be enough. Very high blast zone on uh, on shipwreck, and Sandstorm is just oh my big god. Play.
the scythe mirror, is that annoying? Why is that not true? That was all from one raid. Sandstorm didn't touch it. It was the like off of Chase Dodges alone. Sandstorm was on a fresh stock. It was even. I just got finished saying it was even. You just got finished saying that Sandstorm was trying to take back the lead and it was done. He just spent 45 minutes off stage. Oh, How did he do that? Gone. He's looking for the nair. Recovery comes out. Sandstorm. Oh, where's the ground pound? And the ground pound connects. This is going to be it. Sandstorm gets the nair. He goes to the gravity cancel down light. Oh, the sandstorm is insane.